So I've had Luma on the phone and he's been telling me about how I need to marinate my chicken. So we were going to have it tonight but I forgot that we needed to marinate so I'm just chopping it all up, getting it ready. I'm going to marinate it overnight and then we're going to have this tomorrow. What is that smell? Damn that smells good. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's just have a whiff. Tomorrow's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to put that in the fridge, leave it overnight, mm. wrap your nostrils mm. around that. That smells unbelievable. So, yeah. Here is my marinated chiacon. My marinated manok. That's going in the fridge till tomorrow and we're gonna have it for dinner. So Welcome back to Koshin's Cooking, part two. Well, it's actually Koshin's Cooking, part one. It's Koshin under quarantine, for sure. But yesterday, um, we went shopping and we done all of our like food shop for the first time this year and it was crazy. And then I marinated some chicken over here because I'm making chicken adobo. That smells unbelievable. If by this the way. was smell o vision, you'd be getting excited, you'd be dead proud of me right now because this smells amazing. <laughs> so, got this um, recipe now. I know that obviously when it comes to adobo, everyone kind of does it a little bit different, they'll do their own little twist on it, but it's kind of the basics are there, and everyone kind of does their own little version of it. So, we got ours from a good friend from Ifugao. So he said, this is how my mum and sister make it and when I make it, I follow theirs. So I'm making Ifugaoian <laughs> <laughs> adobo, if that's a thing. And you're gonna hate me, please don't bash, but I am Western and this is just what we do. And I didn't realize how bad it was until I was getting all my things together. So he was like, right, you need garlic. And I was like, I've got it. And he went, how many cloves? And I was like, well, actually, it's already chopped for me. He was like, right, okay, have you got onions? And I said, yeah. And he was like, how many did you buy? And I was like, well, actually, <laughs> got chopped onions. <laughs> <laughs> That's really bad. And he was like, you don't chop your own onions. And I was like, does anyone in England chop their own onions? Because <laughs> You can buy them chopped, so you just get them out of the freezer and then cook them. So everything in England is literally just made for your convenience. And then he said, right, okay, do you have a rice cooker? Do I look like the type of person who has a rice cooker? <laughs> yeah, you do, because you're cutting well, pure corners, so I would have thought you would have definitely had a rice cooker. No, do you want to know what I do instead? Oh, God. Oh, no. We buy packets of rice. I'm not using this rice, but... It's the first one I grabbed. Our rice comes cooked in a packet. You open it and you just put it in the microwave and then it's ready in two minutes. <laughs> and I was like, when I was going for all this, I was thinking, oh, geez, oh, I'm going to get bashed. This is really bad. Like, I don't even cook my own onions. I don't even cook my own rice. And I have to be honest and say, I've got to the grand old age of 28 years old without ever actually cooking a pan of rice before because I don't need to because we just buy these and they're cheap and easy and convenient and they taste good. So today is the day and I've just had to phone my little sister. Mm -mm, it smells so good though. I just phoned my little sister and I was like, do you know how to cook rice? And she was like, yeah, of course I do, why? And I was like, what do you mean, of course you do? Like, everyone does it. She went, yeah, I cook my own rice. And I was like, can you tell me how to do it? <laughs> so I can cook anything in the world, but I've never tried rice. And I'm scared I'm gonna burn the pan. So, Sasha, uh, who is Chris's mom, if I burn your pan, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's get to it. So I marinated my chicken yesterday, and I put black peppers, um, soy sauce and garlic in with the chicken and it's been in the fridge since 8 o'clock last night until 7 o'clock tonight. That's 23 hours of marination. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay. Wish me luck guys. First attempt at cooking rice. First attempt ever. So I've been told one cup of rice for two cups of water. So we're doing 
two cups because Chris is, likes, likes rice. <laughs> now we're going to just get me one. Of course water. I like rice. What Filipino doesn't like rice? <laughs> Oh, no. Can't be a barangay captain and not like rice, you know. Gosh. So we've done two rice, so I'm doing four water, yeah? One. Two. Damn. Are you sure about this? Apparently so. Three. Four. Now apparently, you don't even stir it on often, you just leave it to cook and then you just crack on with the rest of your time. So Serious? You ain't even got to stir it? No, apparently not. Apparently if you stir it, it goes sticky, it sticks to everything, it gets ruined and then All right. apparently you just leave it. So that's going to go on at the back. Guys, you better get ready for these sort of videos because when we get into that condo, this is going to be like a regular thing. Cooking with caution. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm thinking like we should make another channel and then we can put all our house videos on the other channel. But then I'll just be dead excited and want... I just want to do so many things. We can't talk about the house because I'll get all distracted and then my rice will burn and then I'll leave. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. We're going to definitely do like cooking videos because obviously it's going to be like our little home, isn't it? So we're going to do like normal house things. We're going to be decorating, buying furniture, going shopping for the furniture, going shopping for the appliances actually cooking meals and then the more like I learn about like how to cook different foods then obviously like I'll be applying it over there and there'll be certain things that I can't cook here because I can't get the ingredients that I can cook over there and then vice versa so what I did buy I think I told you in the last video but I'm excited about this I'll tell you again I got some coconut milk yesterday when we went shopping because if you've watched our batter on videos we had this like amazing like pudding stuff, I can't remember the name of it mm. and I'm going to try and make it while we're home so I've got to Do you actually know how to make it? Somebody, somebody explained it in the comments. Right. Somebody actually told me in the comments so I know where to find that comment because it's on that video so that'll be like another video in the next couple of days so like stay with me because that's exciting. <laughs> Take your pre-chopped onions and place them in the wok. You're gonna get so bad. Yeah, but look how easy that is. Come on, come on. <laughs> that is cheating. That is actually cheating. It's not. It's time saving. It's practical. Yes. The on. easiest thing to chop, by the way. And I like eating raw onion. It's actually good for you. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you like, like legit onion unchopped, then you can chop it for me, and that can be your job in the kitchen. How about that? <laughs> Because until you start cooking, you yeah, have not, you cannot say nothing about I'm my not a cooking. good chopper. I just like to nick well, bits off the what? chopping. Well, you know what? Now it's time to practice. Look at that. Perfect. Now you take your pre-chopped garlic. <laughs> your garlic. And apparently you put a bit of that in as well. Now I've already got some garlic in here. Well, we've got a lot of garlic in there. So I'm not going to do a lot in here otherwise. We We're going to be garlic out, else. to be honest. We'll be like... Repelling vampires for the rest of our days. Okay, bit of sizzling going on in here. I love that sound. So apparently you're meant to just cook it until the onions brown a little bit, and then you put your marinated bits and bobs in. So they are pretty light brown to me. They've got a slight tan. <laughs> Not as dark as I am, but you know, we'll go with it. And then. We're gonna put this in. The smells I'm smelling right now. It smells so good, doesn't it? Right. Well, let's get all this. Oh. oh, the smells. The smells are coming off of this. Oh, so it says now. Uh, wait for about five or ten minutes, occasionally stirring, and then put two or three tablespoons of soy sauce in, and then the vinegar. So let me give this a stir for a couple of minutes. No, that smells so good. Mmm. Smells good. Smells scrumptious. I'm gonna be so proud of this if this works. I've only ever made this once. 
and it was all right but like it was meant to be marinate and I just kept forgetting to put things in so this I feel like this is my first like legit attempt proper one isn't it where you've, where you've actually remembered it all yeah so this is my first like proper attempt at chicken adobo so if it's really good I'm gonna make it for like my mum and stuff when I see them my mum my sister and everyone Pretty easy to make though, isn't it? it ain't too too well, much involved, right? Yeah, as long as you get, I suppose, all of the like ingredients right, like not too much sugar or too much vinegar or too much salt or it's about making sure you get all them bits right, isn't it? More than anything. But I think we're expert tasters to know whether it's going to be a good version or not, isn't it? Aren't we? I'll definitely be a good judge of that. Okay, next. Vinegar, and it's just gone right on my nose. So apparently it's two to three tablespoons of vinegar. So one, two, three, and then apparently it's three of these as well. Well, it's two to three. What's that? Soy sauce. Soy sauce. We'll go with. We'll go with three. Okay. One. Two. Let's give it a stir before we decide on three, shall we? Let me give that a smell now. Oh, it's very vinegary. It is very vinegary, isn't it? I'm so nervous. Don't I'm be never nervous. I'm a nervous cook, but it's because I don't normally like follow recipes. I just I make ivets, and ivets are, if it's there, I'll cook it. And I normally like, when people say, oh, what's for dinner? Ivets. Because I don't make like proper meals that are kind of, it's got a name. I just put loads of things together and- You make them for me though. works. Proper Yeah, proper like dinners. lasagna and tuna pasta bake, but most of the time, it's because you just want pasta every single day, but when I'm like at home with my mum and stuff, we have like a lot of chicken and rice or noodles and you know, and I'll just be like, oh, what veg is in the freezer? Put it in the wok, put it with some chicken, put some rice in, throw a load of bits and bobs in and then, and then it's done. But this is a, a legit recipe I'm following here, so it's a bit nerve wracking. Okay, that's a little bit less vinegary. So I know that you're meant to put peppercorns in but I don't like like the taste of pepper and there's been a few times where we've ate adobo and a bit of peppercorn and it just, I, can't, I, can't, I don't, really don't like it. So I've got ground peppercorn so that you don't actually like taste the, um, the actual peppercorn. So it's, it, it literally is peppercorn, but you just don't mm. bite it. So I've already put some in last night when it marinated. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in because it says to. Oh, there it goes right up your nostrils again. Vinegar? No, the pepper. Makes you sneeze. Mmm, smells so good though. So next is a bit of salt and sugar. Now, it doesn't actually say how much of each. So that is interesting. Um, oh can't... no, it does. A teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Nervous. I'm going to get a teaspoon. So, here's the sugar. Well said so. <laughs> and, okay. Sugar. I'm gonna do this over here in case it all spills out and ruins it. Imagine I'd be heartbroken. Not too much salt now, it's bad for you. All our teeth gonna fall out. That's sugar. And salt, it's bad for you as well, right? Teeth's not gonna make your, I mean, salt's not gonna make your teeth fall out though. Sugar will do that. Okay, and then it says after the sugar and the salt, a bay leaf, but I didn't get them because we don't like them. 
and a bit of water. So you don't want it too watery apparently, you don't want it too thick. So it's a little bit juicy at the bottom. So I'm just going to fill a cup up and then I'll just see what it looks like and I suppose I'm going to have to just go by guess. So let me get some water. Mm. We'll go from there. How much are you going to put in? Um, just going to, because water evaporates doesn't it? So. I think the time has come. Time has come, so the I've left that much juice in because we like it to be juicy on our rice. So I've left that much juice in. I took the rice off the heat and put some foil over it and a plate because we haven't got a lid. Don't judge. And remember this is my first time making rice, okay? So pray I have not burnt the bottom. Pray I have not ruined the pan. Pray that it is good rice. I think if it burns the pan, it starts smoking though. Well, then we're gonna have smoked rice. No, it, like it starts like smoking in in the kitchen. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you're right. My mum's burnt it a few times, boy. It starts smoking like crazy. Well, to be fair, that looks pretty damn good if you ask me. Mm. That is some good looking rice. That is very good looking rice. Yeah. Filipinos would be proud of that, I think. I am proud of that. And I am definitely Filipino. This rice is good. Oh, yes. I feel like I need to put it in a cup just for like, you know. Damn, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh my, this is a lot of rice just for the two of us though, to be honest. I think you've done too much. i only done two cups. It expands though, doesn't it? Well, clearly, because this is enough to feed a family. I'm going to be sending this back to the brown guys. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm well proud of this. This looks good. Way too much rice. It's all right. We'll have it for breakfast tomorrow. Breakfast? Yeah, Filipino style. Jesus. Mm. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is fluffy. <laughs> I want to see if I've burnt it. <gasps> look at that. No burn. Oh my days! No burn. Ah! Oh, I'm a top chef! Yes! <laughs> this is an achievement, I don't think you You've understand. Done well. Done very this well. This is my first time cooking rice in my life. Ever. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Adobo me up. That does look so damn good. I can't wait to try this. Come on. Is that all you're gonna have? Yeah. You're gonna have more than that. Well, if I'm more hungry. Oh my god. Let's try this out, guys. Right. Let's see if Cody's cooking is up to your levels. <laughs> first things first, let me taste the rice. <laughs> Pretty fluffy. Oh. Okay. Moment of truth. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, is it good? Oh, what? Come on, they're waiting for the verdict out of 10. What is it? Let me have one more. Wait there. Just so I can get my final verdict in. <laughs> that is chicken adobo. Is it? No joke. Is it? No joke. Out of ten, what is it? That is like what we have in the Philippines. Are that you is, joking? No, 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 I'm being deadly serious. Oh my god, that is it. That yeah. is much better than the last one you've done. Oh, see, this is it, guys. I'm, I'm coming to live in, in your house. If anyone needs lessons, let me know. That is on point that is exactly how we have it oh my minus God. the bones we don't have no uh, there's no bones in this one I'm so but proud that of is that. how it tastes back in the philippines so um <laughs> <laughs> you've done you done so well oh, i'm so you happy so well. i don't think you're so happy this week you've done well, yeah. uh, have, have a little go have a little go
Definitely, definitely, one hundred percent adoboed off like in the Philippines. I'm That's telling you. I'm, I'm telling so, you. I'm so proud of this race. I just want to look at the race. Like I'm so happy with it. Tell me that doesn't taste like adobo, proper adobo. It really does. I'm so proud of myself. I wish you could taste it. <laughs> I wish. I wish you all could. Oh my god, it actually it's exactly does taste the same. It tastes exactly I the same. I wish you could have a taste, everyone, because I'm so proud of this. I don't think you understand. It, do you know what? It actually, really, actually tastes legit. That is like Toro Toro adobo right there. I don't right feel there. like I've actually like made this. I feel like I bought it. That's crazy. Oh, that, is, I, that is actually crazy. You done good there. Good job. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god. What a difference like marinating it makes rather than just cooking it straight away. I'm, I can't believe how good that tastes. Even if I say so myself, mm. I'm really proud of that. I really am proud of that. Done a damn good job there. Need to make this for my mum and everyone now. I'll let them in on the Filipino Secret cuisine. Recipe. Yeah, you know that. Because they've never tasted this, so now, now I know how to do it. That it tastes, tastes that tastes on point. That is like literally a dead, dead copy of it. So, well done. I'm impressed. <laughs> Salamat. Salamat.